Philippine forces fan out on the perimeter of the international zone in Santo Domingo to enforce its neutral character. They are allowing neither rebels nor units of the military junta into the area. 19,000 U.S. troops are now in Santo Domingo to stand by until stable rule is established. They are bringing in supplies for civilians as all await the outcome of a peace mission from the Organization of American States. The five-man team from the OAS is successful in bringing about a precarious truce for the time being. Wild fighting has ceased, but political maneuvering for power goes on. Death still stalks the streets of Santo Domingo, although the people appear calm in the wake of the revolt that claimed 2,000 lives. As the Marines clear the last rebels from the international zone, two more Americans are reported dead. This brings to 10 the number of U.S. service dead on the day of the truce signing. Forty-nine U.S. servicemen were wounded during the action. The OAS announced that an inter-American force would be formed to maintain the peace until a new government is able to take over. When the inter-American troops arrive, units from the United States will be withdrawn.